Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. 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 Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Acts 16, 25. Let's read one to go. Around midnight. King James. Want to go. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prisons were shaken. And immediately, all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loosed. Amen. 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 Let's read Genesis 1. There's 1 to 3. 1 to go. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Now let's begin with prayer today. Lift up your hands. Say, Father, I declare over this new week, let there be light. Light shall shine upon my ways. I declare that your light will shine and prevail against and over every darkness every spot of darkness in my life in my way this way this week shall give way to light open your mouth and pray job said have you commanded your day since have you commanded the morning since your day spring began Father, I speak light. I will experience light this week. I will experience illumination, illumination, revelation, insight in the name of Jesus. Let there be light. Let there be light in my life, in all that I do, in my family, in our churches, in our nation. Let there be light. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. we will pray this prayer again. Somebody send me a message. After we prayed, let there be light. And a secret in their family was revealed. Well, it's not that kind of hallelujah. Because when it was revealed, it was not how to handle it. A secret that was kept. That's what happens when there's light. When there's light, those who pretend to be your friends will be exposed. Snitches will be exposed. Lies will be exposed. Hypocrisy will be exposed. You are going to pray one more time. Say, Father, Father any form of darkness in my life, let your light shine. Open your mouth and pray. This week, let your light shine. Let your light shine. Let there be light. Let everything that stands for light manifest this week in my life. shine 
In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. That's why it's not good to join late because some people who will join will miss this prayer. That's how I'm led tonight. Psalm 85 verse 7. We'll pray for mercy. Psalm 85 verse 7. Remember what we said about mercy. When you are right, what do you do? You ask for mercy. When you are wrong, what do you do? And when you are not sure whether you are right or wrong, what do you do? Whichever way you can never go wrong with mercy. So you can never go wrong with mercy. David always said, I come in the multitude of your mercy. We come by God's mercy. When heaven hears the cry of mercy, it's hard to resist. Amen. Psalm 85 verse 7. Let's read New King James. New King James or NLT. New King James. Good. Want to go? Show us your mercy, Lord, and grant us your salvation. Very powerful prayer. One more time. Show us your mercy, Lord, and grant us your salvation. One more time. Show us your mercy, Lord. One of the reasons why we're praying this right now is because we are at that new day mark, 12 o'clock mark. You know, we're just entering this new day and we want to make these proclamations. You are going to cry out. The one we call blind Bartimaeus, who is no longer blind, actually. The Bible says he cried loud, out loud. Jesus, thou son of mercy, have mercy on me. We're going to, when I mention this prayer point, you cry out loud. Are you ready? Are you ready? Say, Father, this week, show me your mercy and grant me your salvation. Say, Father, this week, show us thy mercy and grant us thy salvation open your mouth and fire this new week show me your mercy and grant me your salvation show me your mercy show me your mercy show me your mercy show me your mercy and grant me your salvation show me your mercy and grant me your salvation Show me your mercy. Show my wife your mercy. Show my children your mercy. Show love song your mercy. Show the oasis your mercy. Show my loved ones your mercy. Show my friends your mercy. Show my family nuclear and extended your mercy. Show Nigeria your mercy and grant us thy salvation. Show me your mercy. For those of us traveling, for those traveling, show us mercy. For those going for operations, those going to the hospital, those going for interviews, those going for business beats, those going for examinations. Those going on deployment, show us your mercy. Show us your mercy, you Lord. Show us your mercy. Help our destiny. Show us mercy. Show us your mercy. Let your mercy speak for us. Your mercy speaks for me this week. As we praise you tonight, reveal your mercy, reveal your grace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The same man who did not lose a single battle, is the only king who never lost a battle, is the same one we know as the one who had the sure mercy of David. As the one we describe as having the sure mercy of David. Could that be the key? Could that be the key? Yes, he was also a man of praise and worship. Could that also be the key? One more time. Say, Father, show me your mercy. I declare that this week, this month, 
I am a candidate of your mercy. Pray one more time before we go into praise. Could the mercy of God be David's strategies? Could that have been a secret? I am a candidate of your mercy. As we sing your hallelujah tonight, show your people your mercy. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We are singing hallelujah. Amen. amen. Hallelujah.
Jesus, he day here. He day. He day here. He day. When you enter your office. Jesus, he day here. He day. He day here. He day. He day here. Because he stands by you as a mighty, terrible warrior. He said, Jesus, he day here. He day. He fool here. He day here. He Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I serve a God who is powerful.
49. We're going to chant again. I didn't plan for us to chant, but we are here. Go to the end. Now, when, when we engage high praise, say high praise. Go to the end of that scripture. Verse 7. Go to 6. Everybody around the wall, let's do this. Want to go? Let the high praises, say high praises. high praises. This is an example of a high praise. High octane frequency praise of God. Be what? Where in their mouth? Where? Where? So you see, if you are not saying anything, so that's why I say, say, fall down. Say something because the weapon is in your mouth. It's in your mouth. The Bible says the power of what? Death and life is where? Say your victory is locked up in your mouth. That's why the psalmist says, Open thou thy mouth wide. Let the high praises of God be where? And a two edged sword where? Somebody clap your hands. Let me see. Ah, thank God for CAC, the Apostolic Church. I was born in TAC, the Apostolic Church. Yeah, that's my background. Hey, keep clapping. Verse 7. Ah, yeah, that was. The contemporary church does not really know this dimension. But we are going to teach them, we are going to bring it back. Because there is, there is a dimension of, of victory that only this can release. Verse 7. So it says when you put it in your mouth and in your hand, what happened? You execute vengeance on the nations and punishments on the peoples. Beloved, I have seen God move. We have seen this scripture happen just doing this. And it says to do what? To bind their kings and chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Every family wickedness. Today looks like the day of deliverance. Every family wickedness, every darkness, every conspiracy, every workplace intrigue. As we raise this high praise, we execute judgment right now are you ready to open your mouth in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we can next we can next in the name of jesus 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 as we clap as we shout as we shout hallelujah jericho walls Revelations 12 11. Before Revelations 12 11, Psalm 107 verse 2 says, Let the redeemer of the Lord do what? Someone say, Oro, Oro, say, Oro. Say your words, your mouth. Clo a closed mouth is what? Revelations 12 11. Revelations 12 11. And they overcame him how? 
by the blood of the Lamb. And by what? Oral word. <laughs> Confirmation. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of their testimony. Now, 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 now. As I just said that, one of our guys just showed me something on his phone. What did you see? The same thing I said. He said he sent it to Ogima today. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Before I started. Uh -huh. So God wants us to open our mouth today. If you, if, you, if you think we plan this, we don't plan. The only planning we do is pray. So when we pray, the Holy Ghost conditions us. Everything that happens in the Hallelujah Challenge is by the Spirit. So God wants us to open our mouth today. Have you noticed that I just came and I diverted, I began to talk about mouth. And I have a com confirmation. Today is the day to open your mouth. Say, open your mouth. Say, lion where? Open your mouth. I came him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. You are going to effect victory by your high praise. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, strongholds, causes, failures, enchantments, evil altars, evil covenant. we are shouting let it we send it on an errand to execute judgment go to Psalm 146 for me this particular hallelujah will execute judgment it will administer judgment Psalm 149 Psalm 149 the same one I read it will administer judgment 149 go to verse 7 We come by the blood of the new covenant. The blood of the new testament. We release the power in the blood tonight. We execute vengeance on the nations and punishments on the people. Verse 8. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. When I sound the trumpet, you will release a high sounding hallelujah. And this is what that hallelujah will do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, as we shout this hallelujah, we execute the judgment that was written over every infrastructure of wickedness in our nation. Let evil trees fall down.
every molestation in your dream, they come to an end right now. Every strange, strong man or woman you see today, you shall see no more. The Egyptians you see today, you shall see no more. You shall see no more. married because some people or someone placed an embargo tonight as I bow my knees on this altar not on my righteousness but that which was imputed upon us by Calvary through the blood of Jesus that embargo is lifted we declare a new era of good things in that family we use that family as points of contact to other families that have been placed on embargo. We roll away that dispensation and we open a new dispensation of rejoicing, of testimonies, of weddings, of good news. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says we have better promises. So we release better promises. Good news shall come in that family. Lift up your hands and give God thanks. Give him thanks. tonight of what? Tonight is a night for opening your mouth. So let me lead you. Say, I shall not die. Say, I shall not die. But leave to declare the works of the Lord. Say, Nathaniel Bassi, hear the word of the Lord. You shall leave to fulfill the length of your days. Open your mouth and declare that Tonight is a night of decrees. Job 22, 28, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established and the light shall shine on your ways. That is the flow tonight. Tonight is a night of decrees. The Lord says, as you have spoken in my ears, so shall I do it. long life you satisfy me every appointment of untimely death is cancelled a hey, by God by God Bado Kotebela. let me tell you something else to decree as you hear me no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper every tongue that rises against me in judgment you I shall condemn for this is the heritage of the servant of the Lord and our righteousness is of you said the Lord open your mouth and condemn every tongue that rises against you I condemn I condemn I condemn I condemn 
every unjust judgment I condemn everyone going for a court case every oppression against you every injustice done against you we reverse by God tonight looks like a night of freedom it is normally on day seven why is this happening on day six Colossians 2 14 blotting out every handwriting of ordinances that was against us Jehovah took it out of the way every ordinance that was contrary to us he took it out of the way he nailed it to the cross every evil handwriting every judgment that is against me by the blood of Jesus we erase we cancel we cancel open your mouth a closed mouth is a closed destiny open your mouth and settle the matter <laughs> open your mouth and settle the matter begin to prophesy over your children I and the children that God has given are meant for signs and for wonders hey when I hear about my children it shall be for good my children shall live and not die open your mouth and declare let me help you with something else to declare the Bible says you shall be the head and not the tail you are a city set on a hill you cannot be healed let me help you say I cannot be stranded I cannot lack help I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help my help comes from the Lord which made heaven and the earth he will not suffer my foot to be moved he that keepeth me shall not slumber let me tell you something else to declare there are gates that stand in front of every week every day you are going to declare every gate standing in this week lift up your head so he gates Psalm 24 the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein for he had founded it upon the sea and established it upon the floor who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place he that had clean hands and a pure heart who had not lifted up his soul unto vanity must one deceitfully he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation this is the generation of them that seek him that seek thy face O Jacob lift up your hands O ye gates and be ye lifted up be everlasting doors and let the king of glory come in now the gates may say to you but you are not the king of glory let me tell you what to say to that gate greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world Christ in me the hope of glory the king of glory dwells in me therefore you gates you have no choice open down the gates and let the righteous nation come in gates of breakthroughs gates of revelation gates of favor gates of power gates of employment open 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 my god there is power here there is fire here i see fire those of you at home i see fire i see holy ghost fire there is utterance tonight there is grace tonight tonight is the night to open your mouth and settle the matter somebody say open your mouth and settle the matter Hey. for thou shalt have respect unto thy covenant for the dark places of the earth are filled with the habitations of cruelty let me tell you something else to declare with your mouth you will declare that you are marvelously helped. 
You are marvelously helped. I am marvelously helped this week. I have the help of God. I have angelic assistance. I have angelic interventions. Angelic interceptions. The angels of the Lord encamp around those that fear Him. Open your mouth. Somebody open your mouth. This is the leading today. Those voices you've been hearing, talk back, speak back. It is written, my sheep hear my voice. The voice of strangers they shall not hear. Strangers shall hear my voice and they shall come out of their hiding places. Every voice saying for you, you shall die. You will not make it. You will not have children. Say, Satan, you are a liar. Open your mouth. It's in your mouth. Your victory is in the mouth. Open your mouth. Release words into this week. Keep declaring. I drink from the fountain of mercy. I soar on the wings of your grace. I walk through the doors of great favor. Your mercy is speaking for me. <laughs> I drink from the fountain of mercy. Now, see, there is something called the cup of judgment. I don't drink from that one. I walk through the doors of great faith. Keep speaking. Jesus said in Mark 11, if you say to this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in your heart, you shall have what you say. Open your mouth one more time. Say, I'm a mother of children. I'm happily married. I'm a success. I am not a failure. Aha. Aha. Declare an end to oppression. All around the world, release wars. Release wars into the atmosphere. Release wars into the atmosphere. Every plane I board will land. If it will not land, it will not take off. Every car I enter shall arrive safely. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High, Psalm 91. I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord. I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He delivers me from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. He covers me with His feathers and under His wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, but none shall come near me. Only with my eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most high, my habitation. There shall no evil before me, neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I shall tread upon the lion and the other. I tread upon the lion and the other, the young lion and the dragon, I trample under the feet. Be 
because I have set my love upon him, he will deliver me. He will set me on high because I know his name, Yeshua Mashiach. When I call upon him, he will answer me and be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. With long life, he satisfies me and shows me his salvation. As I have spoken in your ears, so shall it be. Command that sickness to leave your body. I keep hearing this word. Anyone who rolls a stone against you, that stone backfires. Anyone who digs a pit for you shall fall into that pit. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. The theme, the theme, the theme of our church conference was now is the time. The idea was understanding Cairo's moment. Cairo's moment is an opportune time in the spirit. It's an opening in the spirit. It's different from Kronos. It's an opportune time in the spirit where if you seize it and maximize it, you will experience the power of God. This was a Kairos moment. Yes, sir. When, you, when you go to a shop and they are having a bonanza, they say buy one, get two free, and that the offer would end in two hours. If you didn't go with a, a lot of money, you will go home and bring some more money to cash in and cash out. This was a Kairos moment, and this is still a Kairos moment. Yes, can you maximize it one more time? Open your mouth and settle the matter. Open your mouth and settle the matter. Speak words that are according to God's will. I shall enjoy a happy, joyful marriage. Scandal free. No divorce. My ministry is soaring on the wings of grace. My children are the head and not the tail. I hear her name, Adasa. Adasa. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Adasa, may this be a confirmation that of what you asked for. We will hear that testimony. Tonight is your night. That night you were waiting for has come. What you waited for has come to pass. Amen. Amen. Say, I shall lack nothing good. My needs are met. My needs are fully met. Everything I require for life and godliness is supplied. Every finance I need is supplied tonight. Every capital I need. Can we pray for those who need capital to start businesses? Father, let the windows of heaven be open. Supernaturally release capital for entrepreneurs for your people Amen. that their joy be full Amen. in the name of Jesus let me have a PVC in this atmosphere let's prophesy over Nigeria tonight we are just going to declare that it is well with Nigeria and the nations of the earth it is well it is well it is well in the name of Jesus it is well with my soul your PVC. I will say it again. My job is not to tell you this is not a political platform. You know, somebody was telling me you know, I was reading a mail that should tell the people who to vote. I said, I said I'm a man of God. I'm a priest of God. 
I will tell you the truth based on God's word, give you the qualities of who. This is not a campaign platform. This is a spiritual platform. We're going to declare that the will of God be done. Amen. We'll declare that all those that God has not ordained to rule, we shut the door against them. Amen. Say we shut the door, we shut the door. against Amen. anyone, Amen. any party, Amen. any group of people, Amen. any man, Amen. any woman Amen. that God has not ordained to rule, to lead in Nigeria. May they not smell office. May they not smell power. This election, in the name of Jesus, so we open the door. We open the, door. the Bible says, "When the righteous rule." So, if you want to know who to get people who are who will do righteously, those with what upright heart and a skillful hand, those that fit that criteria, you vote for them. Amen. Let's DPR. Let's do DPR. Let's, we've not done DPR in a while. Isaiah 22, Abby. 22, 19. 22, 19. 19, 22. Isaiah 22, 19. He says, yes, I will drive you out of office, says the Lord. I will pull you down and from your high position. And then I will call my servant Eliakim of Hilkiah to replace you. So, remember DPR, drive them out, pull them down, and replace them. Say, Father, we drive out, we pull down, and replace the wicked in governance, in government, in Nigeria, this election. Let this election be a DPR election. And let only the will of God and counsel of God be done. Open your mouth and pray. My goodness, thank you for boldness, Lord. Over Nigeria, we shut the door to ungodly men and women, and we open the doors to righteous men and women, those with a with an upright heart and skillful hands. Those with good intentions and who are capable, who are trustworthy, who are responsible, who are faithful. According to Daniel 6, 2 and 3. Set them in offices as we vote, as we do our part, as we go out and vote. For we will not just pray, we will vote. We will not vote corrupt men. Men who think they can buy their way to office. Men who think they can maim, bribe their way. We will vote responsible men and women that you will ordain in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, let there be peace in our nation. There shall be peace in Nigeria. The killings will end. The kidnappings will end. Banditry will end. Terrorists will, I mean, Terrorism will end in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. See, our portion is Isaiah 62 in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We bless this nation. Amen. Please, and those of you who are not Nigerians, I've always said, anytime we are praying for Nigeria and you don't feel like joining us, please pray same for your nation. Father, we pray your blessing over the nations of the earth Amen. because we know that this is a global platform that is projected and brought up and broadcast from Nigeria. Nigeria is in Jerusalem. You know, Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and, and the uttermost part of the earth. So we start from Jerusalem. But we bless the nations of the earth in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Have you been blessed today? I feel blessed. Yeah, I feel blessed. You know what I felt like singing? Let me not sing it. Let me sanctify my playlist in the spirit. Amen. Before I trend on Twitter. <laughs> Hallelujah. What else are we losing? We will do altar call. There's someone to pray for him now. Father, we bless that couple that has helped us with that with, with powering this place. We declare them blessed. Amen. 
We declare them blessed. Make them a living example of your goodness and faithfulness. In Jesus' mighty name. We call their children blessed. Their business is blessed. And everyone who's been given, sowing seeds and sending gifts to this team and helping us do what we are doing effectively, Father, we pray for increase for them. They will grow in leaps and bounds. In Jesus' mighty name. Can we pray? I just, I just saw my Gio right now. Can we just help pray for that Gio? Let's bless him. Let's bless that man of God. Father, we bless your son and his wife. Thank you for raising that man. Thank you because we are products of that grace. Thank you for your grace on his life. Thank you for a gift in our generation. We bless him and his family. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I just saw him right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now we want to take something very important. But before I say that, day seven is normally what we did today. Um, we'll leave day seven. I, w I, I want to be sure that we have to do that because it's, we have to really prepare for it. We don't eat the whole day. You know. But if we feel led, we'll give you that information. It's normally a night of freedom. We call it a night of freedom. Amen. Don't miss day seven. Seven is a prophetic number of perfection, of completion. Amen. So, today is day seven. You know, 11.59 p.m. later, today is day seven. I want to reach out to a very important set of people. You are not born again. Jesus is not the Lord of your life. You joined tonight. You enjoyed the praise session. You danced. You, you said the prayers. And you also feel blessed. But the truth is, you can have all of that. But if you don't have Jesus, you have nothing. The good news is you can have him right now. If you confess him with your mouth and believe in your heart that he died and rose again, you will be saved. So say with me, Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me. I come to you today. I say thank you. Wash me with your blood. I write my name in the book of life. I acknowledge I'm a sinner. Save me, wash me, and fill me with the Holy Spirit. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. And I declare that I'm a new man. I'm a new woman. My sins are forgiven. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Say, I am redeemed from the hand of the enemy. My brother, sister, boy and girl, I have good news for you. You are born again. Woo! Father, thank you for saving them. Now the next thing to do is just go to our website, Hallelujah Challenge Life. HallelujahChallengeLife.com You will find the form, new convert or education, or education form. Click on it and fill the form. We will get back to you shortly. God bless you. And if you want to be a blessing to the team and help what we're doing, or just say, Lord, I just feel like giving on this altar. Go to the website. You'll find a partnership page. Do what it says as you are led. God bless you. Amen. Raise your journal if you have your journal. If you have your journal, wave it. See what the Lord has done. Oh, see what the Lord has done. What we waited. What Everything written here according to your will. He was the Lord. Oh, she was the Lord.
has done it for me. Now you can. The song is on YouTube. I mean, we have uploaded it on our platform. I don't know why iTunes and the rest are delaying. So when it comes, blast them and declare the song. I'm sure it should be out on iTunes and Spotify and the rest. But for now, you can enjoy that on YouTube on my page. And if you've not subscribed to our page, you can go there and subscribe. Great contents there to be blessed. Let's blow the trumpet and end. Ten trumpet sound. Father, as we blow this trumpet, everything we've declared here today is established. Amen. This week is a harvest of testimonies. Everyone who was a part of today will come back next week to dance. No one will be missing. No one will be kidnapped. Your blood will not be used for ritual killings. In Jesus' mighty name. Your blood will not be spilled on the road. Day what? Day seven. Amen. Lift your hands. Let's give God thanks.